I'm Sinead Morrissey and I have just finished editing a new uh, Donald Davey Selected Poems which will be published by Carcanet in December 2022. Um, so the best way I can think of to describe the experience of, of editing a new selected Donald Davey is really an education. So um, I never met Donald Davey and in fact he died in 1995 uh, which was the year my first poetry collection was published by Carcanet. So um, he also taught, his first job was as a lecturer at Trinity College Dublin where I went as an undergraduate as well. So I kind of feel as though Donald Davey and I were were um, in a kind of relay race, though we never actually met or connected. Um, and I didn't, I knew the name obviously, I knew he was a very famous poet critic, but I didn't know that much about his work. So over the summer, I read Neil Powell's definitive Donald Davey collected poems, um, as well as some of the works of criticism um, that Davey wrote first published in the middle of the 1950s including uh, purity of diction in English verse and articulate energy and uh, yeah I just I tried to inhabit this um, you know this oeuvre this monolith really of of work and thinking and criticism and and uh, yeah and and then I had to think about you know what I encountered there um, so uh, it's been it's been a kind of fascinating experience, um, and one of the things I've really been drawn to in Davy's work um, is his openness to mutability and to change. Um, so he started off um, as a kind of a movement poet in the nineteen fifties, you know. Uh, very clear, very um, uh, very boxed in, really inside uh, formal structures. He he was inspired by the Augustans, particularly by Pope, and often wrote in heavily rhymed metrical forms. Um, so there was a kind of boxiness to his early beginning and it, it was also quite uh, an unusual beginning um, if you think about what else was going on in the 1950s um, particularly in America with poets like Allen Ginsberg you know these seem to be at opposite ends of the spectrum um, and yet you know as you as you read through this collect poems there are there's great transference of, of energy, there's great movement from the beginning to the middle years into where he ended up. And I was fascinated by that change, I was fascinated by the way in which those very tight formal structures got broken open. Um, he wrote far less in rhyme, he allowed white space into the kind of the, the density of, of uh, the poems on the page and all kinds of fascinating disruptions happened. So I was very interested in that and I was very interested in the questions that Davy really asks about um, the consolations of poetic form and the pitfalls of poetic form. And as a writer who's kind of been obsessed with the affordances of form since um, since my middle twenties, you know, these were very provocative and pertinent questions for me. Um, if I have a favourite Donald Davy poem, I mean, lots of poems I love are in this selection. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick one from his late masterpiece, To Scorch or Freeze, uh, which is Davy's meditation and response to the Psalter. Um, and I think my favourite poem in the whole book is probably a poem from that collection, um, and it would be uh, Their Rectitude, Their Beauty. <laughs> 